everybody. Uh, I am Noelle Mosier, um, and I am the owner and the editor of the Country Clucker blog. If you have found this video because you were reading my post about winterizing your coop for or your coop and your chickens for a uh, late fall and winter, welcome. Thank you for your support. For those that have just stumbled across my site, hi, it's nice to meet you. Um, so today. I'm gonna be doing a video on how I winterize chickens. The, the key to winterizing chickens is to keep it simple. They do not need a heater. They do not need a lot of these things that we would call creature comforts. Um, they are wearing down coats, factory installed. So the same coats that we put on when it gets cold outside is the same coats they already have on. So the key to winterizing your coop is very simple. One. You're gonna to wanna to put a barrier around, around your coop. This does several things. One, it is first and foremost a windbreaker. So when the winter winds blow, they ruffle up the girl's feathers and they lose all their key that they've worked really hard to achieve. Two, it's going to keep your elements out. So rain, ice, hail, uh, sleet, um, that will not enter the pen. Um, it will keep your pen floor dry. It will also keep your girls dry because the main thing with chickens during the winter is two things. One, dry digs and clean digs. So if you remove the elements, you remove the cold winter winds, the girls with their naturally evolved um, down coats, they can pretty much do the rest. Now, normally when I do this, what I do is I get the uh, construction grade, heavy grade plastic that you see oftentimes um, protecting the wood as they're building houses during the cold weather season. I normally buy that, but in my area, I have two things going on. One, the insane inflation that everybody is suffering, and two, the fact that my local factory, I'm sorry, not that factory, but uh, farm and feed store do not have them. So I am going to do something a little bit different this year. I'm going to wrap all of my coops in feed bags. Now, we all, we all know what these feed bags are. They're these huge 50, 25 pound bags that hold our chicken feed. We have to buy these bags anyway, and chicken feed is expensive anyway, so I might as well use absolutely everything. Please excuse my roosters. I have 13, and they're just very excited that I'm out here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is these, these bags are tough. They are wind and weather resistant, and I am going to use those bags that I have to buy anyway when I buy feed to actually wrap all my coops in. Um, the one you see behind me here is the Country Clucker. This is the biggest one. This is the one that I'm going to be wrapping on video today. I do have seven other coops, um, but I think if you just see this one, you're probably going to get the idea of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, the following video will be a time lapse of me and my crew um, wrapping this coop. So I will link that in description below so that way you can find that. Uh, the things that you will need for this project are several things. One, you're going to need a mountain of feed bags. I've been saving feed bags since about April. So I think I have enough to wrap my seven coops. Two, uh, a staple gun. Um, it's just easier to take, if your coop is made of wood, if it's made of metal, you're gonna have to do something a little different. Sometimes they have those metal, those metal coops now, but um, if it's wood, you're gonna need a staple gun. You just simply just, staple gun it right into the wood. You're going to need a pair of scissors, and if you have it, you're going to need some helpers. I have two helpers with me today. Um, it just makes it go a whole lot quicker. You can get someone to just pretty much cut the bags, the other one to hold it up, and then you just put it with a staple gun. So you'll get to do it to see this process here in this following video. So again, I am Noelle. I am the owner, the editor, and um, of the Country Cucker blog. If you found me with my blog, thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it. If you found my YouTube channel and trying to figure out how you want to winterize coops, um, hi, nice to meet you. Um, I will also link uh, my blog um, post related to this video for those that found me on YouTube and are looking for tips and tricks of how to winterize your coop um, and your chickens for the winter season. So I'll see you in the next video and thank you for coming along.